impressionist, post-impressionist, modern and contemporary art. We have the largest selection of Latin American art in the world. We also have the largest collection of Fernando Botero in the world, including monumental sculptures, paintings, and drawings, because we believe that Fernando is the most important artist alive today. He's in every major museum in the world, and more than 4,000 books published. I think when people think of Botero in Miami, they definitely think of Gary Vayner, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Albert Ollen, which is probably the most important, one of the most important young artists alive today, from Germany. He's the superstar of the art world today. Um, Damien Hirst, not one of my favorites, but that one, I like it because it was uh, intervened by one of his children. Oh, is that what you Yeah. <laughs> Wilfredo Lam, the most important Cuban artist, one of the four most important Latin American artists. What is the year on that? That painting is 1942. So it's a very, very rare, rare painting. But it sold for over four and a half million dollars. Talking about Picasso, this is a very important Picasso from 1953. Probably Jacqueline. We have photographs of him doing that painting. Matisse, 1920. It's so fresh, it's still so, so modern. It's so ahead of his time. I just purchased the only Frida Kahlo in the world. Everybody knows that she did very little works, and everybody knows that there is nothing in the market. So I this sold. This is the only one for sale. In the world. This is the only one. This, is this belongs to my collection. This is from the 70s. Is there a story behind the way that Botero creates their physique? Voluptuous people portrays joy, and he mastered it very well yeah. because you can see the influence of Goya and, and other great masters. What makes you decide to buy? One and only one thing what? that I like. Anything that I know that I can locate in the gallery and show it proudly, I will buy it. Anything that I can hang on my own private collection. And I have a very good collection. We put together 68 lots out of 6,000 that we received. Everything we put here is very well priced and of very high quality. Picasso, of course, is well known for his paintings. He himself did some ceramics, and those ceramics, the ceramics copy, and those are the ones that you see mostly in galleries, auctions, etc., etc. These, I believe, were purchased directly from him, from Ernest Baylor, and Ernest Baylor of Fundación Baylor in Basel is the one who created our Basel. That's why our Basel existed because this dealer used to have one of the most important collections in the world, and now it's in his museum. No, they were offered at auction, and I bought them all. <laughs> this is probably one of the five Fiat Montreans in private hands in the world. Oh. That's only in museums. This is an original Campbell soup. This is from the 60s. This is not what you see repetitive and repetitive. And this below is one of the five best mirrors I've ever seen. So for you to have an idea, it is a 40 minute What makes it better than other mirrors? Uh, of course, the quality, the composition, the year. I could put that painting for sale and it will sell in less than two hours. These are some regional, really old boxes from the 60s. box like that is for million dollars. Imagine, this is only five of the 80 works that are coming. And every single old work is of this quality. There are a lot of trendy artists that today, you know, are very famous, are very popular, and in, in a year they're gone.